Hi everyone. Today I will show you how to create viewports in AutoCAD. So this is my 3D object. So we will create the views of this 3D object. You have to click on layout and you can see that the top view is created automatically. Now we will delete this view because we don't know what is the paper size setting. To set the paper and other setting, we have to right click here and click on page setup manager. Here you have to select on layout one, click modify. You have to select your printer here. I will select and drawing to PDF and here you have to select your paper size. I will select A3. Plot area will be the layout here. And here you here is the scale factor. So my drawing is in mm. So my scale factor is one ratio one. If your drawing is drawing is in inches, you have to type here 25.4, and it will remain one. And if your drawing is in meter, then you have to write here a thousand. So in this way, you can set your scale. So mine drawing is in mm. So I will keep one here. You can apply the plot style here. I will select a cat and OK and close this one. Now my A3 paper size is set here and now we will insert the template which is as built in AutoCAD. Type MB setup and you can find your title block type T and type insert I and you will find here your templates. So here is ISO 4, 3, 2, A1, A0. So my paper size is A3. So I will select 2. You have to type 2, enter. And the template, as well template is now displaying in the layout here. So we will adjust this one by moving. A U drawing should be within the dotted line. That's here. Now we have to insert the views here. We will draw four views. And you can change this template. Right click here and click on edit block in place. Okay. Now you can change the title block by putting your own sign or copy this one. Give your name, title name, drawing number extra. Once you update your template, click on save changes. Okay. You can see that your template is updated now. Now we will insert the viewport. Type here viewports. I will select four equal. And you can set here your distance between the viewport. I will select three. Uh, if you want 2D setup, you have to make it 2D. If you want 3D, type 3D, I will keep as it is. Then after that, I will change. Click OK. And now you have to select a space on which you want to draw four views. So I will select space from here to here. Uh, you can see that the four views are created here. So here we will change this one to hidden line here. And this one we will change to hidden and we will make it a top view. And this one 
we will change hidden and view will be the front view and this view we will change to south west isometric if you want to come out from the viewport click outside the seat double click here now you can see that this view is not looking great it is still dark double click this one click on visualize here and click on sun status turn on setting here click on adjust exposure setting and you have to make it on here and click on use custom background click on background and select solid click here and click on index color select white you can choose any color okay and now you can change exposure so i will change the exposure now it's looking pretty good and close this one now we have to come out from the viewport click outside the viewport so our three views are created here now we will lock our views here you have to click on layout select this view double click lock click lock and select the view and enter you can see that you cannot do anything now it views lock here but here you can do whatever you want because it is not locked yet so we will unlock this one because we want to do some modification here you can see that the hidden lines are not showing here in the front view i will select this view you have to type v and this v so will be showing here click this one and make it one you can see that now you can see hidden line here i will make you extend i will come out now i will select this one and i will type here v so and make it one and zoom extend so now i will lock the views because now hidden line is showing here so i will click lock select object enter same way click here make it lock enter click here lock select object lock select view here enter now you can see that you do whatever you want now view is lock here you can do the dimensioning here also now for dimensioning you have to always click outside the view here and go to annotate and i will select here from this center to this center a click on radius now if you click inside the view here now if you will do the dimensioning i will show you what is the problem see here this dimension are showing in other views also so that's why when you you will do the dimension always come outside so let's say i will click outside and now i will do the dimensioning
so in this way you can do the dimension in viewport this is 50 this is 10 or you can give dimension here also enter it will continue enter it will continue so in this way we can do the dimensioning in uh, layout in the viewport different viewports you can write also here you can type here m text select here top view and make it 15 is too big 5 and you can change the font here now you can uh, move this one anywhere In this one, you can type here, and it uh, front view. Copy this one. Side view. You can make a space in between the views here. What I showed in previously here. Then you right click here. Right click, paste setup, modify. Okay. But when you select the viewports here, in this drawing, I will show you in this drawing here. view ports I will select 4 equal now you can make a space in between by typing the distance here I will give let's say 10 no it is 10 here in gap you want to make 12 not 12 ok now you select the viewport here See here now we have a sufficient gap to write the description front view, top view, side view. In this way you can do a lot of things in the viewports. If you have any comment related to this one, please comment in the comment box.